the ID Alpha Pinterest, and I'll go ahead and throw up a picture here who the creator was. Um, and I followed the picture pretty closely. I started by creating a template. I didn't have a die or anything that resembled the shape of the stocking cap that I want. So I kind of just free formed it. And actually then I just folded it in half to make sure that it was even. So the sides were symmetrical. And then I went ahead and just um, fussy cut it out on some of my cardstock here. I'm using a combination of uh, Busy Sidewalks by Crate Paper and Holly Jolly by Die Cuts with a View, and they coordinate really well together. So all I am doing really here in the beginning is matching up the bottom of the hat with the top to just see uh, what coordinates and what I like together. So I like that one. All I did was just put a tiny little piece of adhesive there and I'm gonna put that on and that's just enough to hold it in place while I sew around the edge. Um, one of the little touches that I did was I did take the corner and put it through my uh, corner rounder. So I just did this side and then did this side and I left the top squared. So now um, I'll go to my sh machine, I'll sew around it and this is what it looks like sewed around. Um, I was gonna go uh, something along the cap here but I just decided or along the the bill of it brim of it but I decided not to um I just left it how it was because I think I might add some stickers or something to cover it so I didn't I didn't want to you know put the stitch across there if you weren't even going to see it so I decided I wanted to mount it on just a piece of white paper and this is actually single-sided paper from the collection so you get a nice back on it then as well but I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the edges here. I'm just using my ATG gun. I wanna get close to the edge as possible. And then I'm just centering it. This was just free formed as well. I just took a finished hat, put it on the paper and traced or, or you know, cut around it, leaving like a quarter of an inch um, side there. Then the last thing I'm going to do is choose a pom-pom. So I'm using just these little tool pom-poms that I got off AliExpress. I'll see if I can find them and I'll link them below um, in case you're interested in ordering. Um, the picture that you saw, she actually created tiny little pom-poms out of yarn and it's adorable. But um, I just had these in my stash and thought that I would use them. So I think I'm going to go with green on this one. And I'm just going to grab my hot glue gun. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the red. I just was looking at these two patterns and I think the green is going to go with these. So I'm going to use those for both of those and I'll use red for this. And I think that I'll use the red for that. I think the pink one I'll go on this other striped one. So I have enough for all of them. Okay, so let me just do a dot of hot glue. And putting it on. And I'm making sure about half of it, or no, not even a half, maybe a quarter of it is sticking off the top. It's just the way I think it looks good. Okay, so those two are finished. I think you can leave them exactly how they are, but you could also add um, some embellishment pieces. So let's take a look at some pieces from the collection. So I've got the thickers. So you could do, you know, I'm envisioning maybe like a gold snowflake there. Let's see what that looks like. You could do something like that. That's really cute and it's really simple too. It doesn't take away too much from the hat. Um, I don't have any of the puffy stickers, but that would be cute too. Just another little dimension. I've got some of the flat stickers here. Let's see, like the ornament would be cute on there. That ornament is cute as well. Um, does, let's see, I have some poinsettia stickers too. That would be cute on that one. Um, let's see, let me look at the chipboard. Candy cane. I think I'm just going to go with the gold snowflake. I think that is simple. And then that way, if the recipient wants to um, put more embellishments on there, she can. I'm just debating which one. 
I'm gonna go with this. Go with the bigger one and have it stick off just a little bit, I think. I think that's really cute. All right, let me take a look at this one to see if I want to do the same thing. I think that's a cute way to kind of make them look cohesive, but different. Okay, so those two are finished. Super, super cute. Got some hot glue strings here. I love how those turned out. Okay, let me put the rest of these together and then I'll bring them to my sewing machine okay so I ended up doing bold thread with the green so that's what those look like it got a little wonky over here but I think that's cute it adds to like the whimsicalness of it and here are the red ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim those off All right, and so what I'm gonna do is since um, these aren't like, they don't all end up the exact same shape, just depending on how uh, high up you put this. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it to my paper first and then cut around it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that on there. Gonna trim around the edges here, leaving again about an eighth of an inch. And if you like things to be perfect, maybe you can look for a um, like stocking cap or beanie die. I'm sure that there are some cute ones out there. Um, I just wanted the kind of the homemade look of these, and I, I enjoy doing that every once in a while, not having the uh, perfect cut of a die. And not everybody has dies too, so it's nice to be able to give options. Go ahead and hot glue that on that one. And I'm gonna use the red on this one. Okay guys, here is how they turned out. I really think they're adorable. Um, you could make these into a tag if you wanted to. Um, you know, you could use it as a bag topper. But like I said, I'll let her um, decide what she wants to do. If she wants to embellish them more or you could punch a hole in, like I said, to make a tag. But I'm just gonna send them like this and then they can decide. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.